Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Jub Jub for Gaming and today I'm going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be doing a tutorial on how to mine Ethereum using an NVIDIA graphics card and using a software called Awesome Miner. I know this is just a way to do make some passive income whenever you're not gaming, you know what I mean? So you're going to want to go to uh, open your browser and go to awesomeminer.com. I'll leave the link in the description. Here you're going to want to download the Windows application and then download Awesome Miner. Of course, this is for uh, Windows, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then just save it and run it. It's going to pop up like this. You just go next. I already have it, so it's going to tell me this. You just keep going next, accept the terms and everything, and it'll install pretty fast. And then whenever it's done, you just open it and it'll pop up like this. Yours is going to pop up like this with add new miner. You can just get straight into it. But if not, of course, just click new miner. And then don't worry about that. Just click next and then click on manage miner. And then just name it whatever you want. Just whatever. Mambo Jumbo. And then you're going to want to change the algorithm. You can go by coin. Open this. And type E. And just go to Ethereum. ETH. Make sure it's Ethereum. And then the mining software. I mean, you can try Claymore, but mine didn't work with Claymore. I'm going to be using Gminer. And if you're using a AMD graphics card, I'd recommend using Team Red Miner and um, Two Miner suggests the uh, LOL Miner for AMD as well. But for but for Nvidia, click on a uh, G Miner, and then you're and then you're gonna do the pool next, right here. Mine already shows the pool. Hell nah. <laughs> you're just gonna show nothing. So you're gonna click on Actions, click on New Pool can do whatever you want for the description. Now for the pool connection URL, you're gonna go to go to open up your browser, type in twominers.com, link in the description. And then I'm gonna do pool mining pools. Um it's just easier for me. And we're also using two miners because they make it they make it very easy to just get started. So you just click on there. Click on quick start. Alright. So the link you're gonna use the URL you're gonna use for the mining is they're gonna be right here. So for Europe, use the Europe one, USA, Asia. Alright, I'm gonna use the USA one. Copy it. And then you're gonna paste that into the pool connection URL. Now for the worker name, that's where you're gonna type in the wallet, your wallet address where you wanna receive the coins. I'm gonna use a Coinbase. You can use whichever wallet as long as you're receiving, you set it to receive Ethereum. So yeah, click on send, receive, receive. Go down to Ethereum. Make sure you click Ethereum, of course, not Ethereum Classic. And then it's going to put the address right here. Just copy. Go back to go back to Awesome Miner. Paste your address in there. And then the worker password right here is going to show you down here. I'll use PX password is X. So just put X. And now for a coin, all right? Don't leave it on Bitcoin because that's where it's gonna have it on. That's the default. You wanna click on that, go to ETH Ethereum because that's what you wanna mine. You don't have to worry about the rest of it. And then you just press okay. And now press next. 
finish. It's going to pop up right here. All right. Now, you just press start. It's going to it's gonna start up. Make sure it's working. All right. If it stays on interface offline, like, like I had it there, you're just going to press stop and start again. Don't press reboot because you're going to reboot the whole PC. All right. So uh, on here, there's your miner, what you named it, all that. It's going to be the same mining. There's your temperature. And right here, if this is not scrolling down, this is offline interface, you know, press stop, start again. <clears throat> going to show you your progress right here. And it's going to show you this right here, your mining rate, how much you're making per day for 24 hours, and how much you'll make a month. All right, mine. If I do it on default, it's going to show about 35 megahertz per second, 36 megahertz per second. But yeah, that's for RTX 2070 Super. All right, now, if you want to undervolt it to make this better, you see, you'll improve this. 33 megahertz per second on 162 watts. That is what it's usually at if you just leave it on default. But you're going to want to do msi afterburner now you don't know how to if you don't have msi afterburner you're gonna want to google that and type and you'll find it right here now you can change your fan curve click on the settings fan and then it'll show you right here i changed mine it's all wacky and crazy but this is the default all right so you're gonna want to make your own undervolt here's my undervolt for g4's rtx 2070 super oh and before that you can also have gbuz open now if you don't have that you can look you can just google that you'll find it right away you'll be able to download it make sure you download it from tech power up all right so right here you can have the proof of the card name, proof of everything. And then you go to sensors, and then you'll see right here on board power draw 158, pretty much 160 watts. So you go back to MSI afterburner, and then I set the power limit to 80. If you set this, this the temp limit will also scroll down. I grabbed the core clock and just scrolled it all the way down, but that's not it for that. But you can just go to memory clock. Uh, you can also Google this. Just look up your card and look up a good undervolt for mining, and you might find one, but they're not all the same for every card, even if you have the same card. Like, say you have a 2070 Super. But, you, yeah, you put it as high as you can while maintaining stable mining. And then for the core clock, you press Control F and make it a good undervolt, like a very crazy undervolt. This is good for mining. See, 1140, 700 voltage, and then all the way at 1150. Oh, yeah. There you go. Apply the undervolt. This is going to change dramatically so your power board draw is now going to be about 107 105 so that's minus about 50 something watts right there so that's going to save you money and then your megahertz per seconds they're going to go up to mine is not going up because i have all this open i have obs recording and everything it's not going to work right but this will go up, your profits per 24 hours will go up, and per month will go up significantly. So whenever I do it, it'll go from 35 megahash per second, and it'll go all the way to like 45. So it'll go like to $4.50 per day, 130 bucks per month. So yeah, you gain some of that. 
And then you save money right here. You save money on power. So yeah, that's how you get started mining. And also a little tutorial on how to, to use these to monitor what's going on. And also it's not a very good tutorial on how to actually undervolt. So if you're going to want to undervolt, just uh, Google it for your specific card and you should find it. Uh, Google just like a specific undervolt for mining for whatever card you have. And then it should pop up. It's very different for every... Um, it's very different for every graphics card, so you're going to have to find that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And of course, when you're done, stop. And then there. It's a very easy miner to use. Yeah, whenever you're done, just go back to MSI Afterburner. Say you have it on the Undervolt. Don't forget to go back to the default. Apply. Because if you go into a game with that crazy Undervolt, it's not going to work. It's going to crash. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I hope you get started up mining right away. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.